great thing. And now I will go over the homework eight, question number ten. So from the question number ten, it's the uh, question says, show that if the normal process is versus stationary, then it is structurally structurally stationary. So from that we can see the density function of uh, x1, x2, x3, blah, blah, and t2, xn, and t1, t2, t3, and t2, tn, which is equal to the density function of uh, t time shift by Epsilon. Uh, like that, like this two equation. Uh, and for any n, any t1, t2, t3, and t2, tn, and any x, y, uh, xt is normal. So for the density function of uh, x1, x2, x3, and t1, t2, t3, and t2, tn is equal to 1 over the square of 2 pi and n square of uh, dx and times uh, e power of negative 1 over 2 times uh, x minus eta power of t a power of tau so uh, c power of negative 1 times x minus eta uh, yeah because of the above structure the c in this structure is uh, made by uh, auto correlation function so the so rt1 t2 is equal to expect value of xt1 times xt2 and c is time different. So because of that, you can see c equal to expect value of uh, x minus eta times x minus eta uh, of power of t. Uh, which one equals to the expect value of x t1 minus expect of x t1 until x t n minus expect of x t n and times x t1 minus x t1 uh, times x t2 minus expect uh, x of x t two minus x x t two times x e uh, expect value of x t two until to the n. So which one is equal to r t one t two minus eta power of two until t one t three. Uh, Next is t1, t3 minus eta power of 2 until the r t1, tn minus eta power of n. And in this way, in this line, uh, in the row, it's the only change of t, t2, ttn, and from the columns, it's going to change to the first from t1 to tn and from this equation we can get which is uh, r0 minus eta power of 2 until r t1 minus t2 minus eta power of 2 and in the row only the second t changed and the clone the first t changed So according to the above equation, which is like, uh, 
C of T1 minus T2, T1 minus T3 uh, until T negative uh, T, um, T negative one minus T uh, T n minus one until uh, minus T n equal to C of the uh, T one equal to T three for I not equal to G and I G equal to one two three four until n. So for the original equation, original function, the tensor function of the t not shift is equal to tensor function of x1 to 3 until xn and t <coughs> i minus t g for i doesn't equal to g i run uh, i and g equal to 1 2 3 and 2 and, and f after the time shift if it, uh, it is actually the same the same function of testing of x1 x2 until xn t1 minus tg for i uh, not equal to g and ig both equal to 1 2 3 4 until n so actually this one is equal to each other uh, until this step we can see the statement was proved so this is question number 10.